Angela. Hey, y'all. Milk Makeup sent over some gifts. Let's see what we've got. This Kush Clear Brow Gel is a clear gel that tames and sets brow hairs. It's hemp-derived cannabis seed oil helps condition for no stiffness or flaking. The Infinity Longwear Eyeliner is a waterproof vegan eyeliner with a serious staying power that's infused with avocado oil and ceramides for a smooth application. And I think I'm in love with this. This is the Kush Mascara. It's high volume conditioning mascara formulated with heart-shaped fibers, hemp-derived cannabis seed oil, and pure pigments for a clump-free intense black finish. And look at it, y'all. I think I'm really gonna like this. All right, and this is the Lip Plus Cheek. It's a creamy sheer blush and lip color that tints and hydrates. And this is in the color Quickie. And this is so convenient because you can use this for blush as well as a lip color. And this is if you're on the go, you can put it in your purse or throw it in your cosmetic bag and it's very travel friendly. And here's the same thing, but it's in a different color and the shade is Work. W-E-R-K. This is more of a neutral soft glam color and it's travel friendly as well. You can use it on your lips as well as your cheeks and it's just convenient for the everyday wear and on the go. So yeah. And y'all, here's the Don Dada. This is the Hydro Grip Primer. It's 94% natural hydrating and makeup gripping gel primer formulated with hemp derived cannabis seed extract and blue agave extract for up to 12 hour wear. And I love it. I'm so happy that they sent this over to me and you can see it in my expression. <laughs> Last but not least, this is the Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. You're going to see this in action after this tutorial. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Okay, y'all, so about this Kush Mascara, I really think that this is going to be a holy grail. I don't have a holy grail mascara at the moment. I normally just pick up one that's close to me, but this one, I love the way the brushes grip my lashes and fill them out. So we're gonna go now into the Hoola Toasted. We're gonna use this as a eyeshadow today because we're doing something really basic and soft because we're focused on the milk products, the milk makeup products today. So as you can see, I'm just going in and making like a soft glam or doing a soft glam on my eye um this is a bronzer but it's multi-use as you can see so i'm just giving my eyes a little bit of a um, brush over so that they'll have some type of color here and y'all know how that goes fyi all of the products that i'll be using today in this video will be um, in the description box if they're not in the description box kindly send me a comment and let me know to put them in there so we're going to go into my holy grail eyeliner this is the nyx epic liner it's the same epic liner it's just in a different packaging i absolutely love this liner it just does it for me it's really precise and i don't often do wings or i don't do wings very seldom but when i do this is my girl and even if i don't do a wing this is my girl y'all know me <laughs> so i'm just making a line something really simple that will get her done and this liner is definitely beginner friendly i would recommend it over the you know brush liners any day because sometimes i don't have a steady hand and with this one even if you don't have a steady hand the precision in the the liner itself or in the brush itself it's very precise and it's almost like a sharp pencil you know how you have a pencil that has a really sharp point um that's how i describe this um i like that because it gives like i said it gives me a steady hand when i don't have a steady hand or if i don't have a steady hand it doesn't make the lines big and squiggly you understand what i'm saying so definitely i would recommend this for the beginner who is trying to master liner or a wing any day i would definitely recommend this 
And y'all, I promise I'm going to the next step. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was thinking about. I might have had like a brain freeze or something. But I promise I'm going to the next step. Okay, so after the moisturizing, we're going to go into the priming. I absolutely love this primer. It's the OG because it gives you that full confidence through the tackiness that your foundation is going to stay put. And I love it. I just love it. So next we have the NYX Blur Skin Tint. Y'all, I really like this foundation well it's not a foundation it's a skin tint and i really like it it might be a tad bit orange right now because we're going into summer we have a couple more days before we go into summer or a couple more weeks but um i'm using this skin tint for right now <laughs> so after that um we're gonna just go ahead and do the brows kind of touch up on the brows and then go into the concealer i'm using the elf camel concealer in deep cinnamon and then i went in with the l'oreal concealer and then into the benefit bronzer Whew, that was a whole lot to get through but <laughs> everything i'm um mentioning will be in the description box y'all and if not just let me know okay so right now i'm doing a little contour and a bronze I can't really tell you the difference between a contour and a bronze. I know the difference, but I like to bronze more than, or contour, I don't know which one it is, but I'm just adding some depth to my face, y'all. Okay, so y'all follow me. So I went in with the Huda Easy Bake um, setting powder, and this is in Cinnamon Bun. I really love this powder. This is more um, closer to my complexion. I used this powder first, but I was trying to go for a lighter under eye because I want to get into doing that. I just want to try it out to see how it looks because I like it on other people, but I just wanted to see it on myself. Um, after that, I went in with the Lori Mercier um, or Mercier translucent setting powder to give my eye a little bit of a highlight and we're seeing how that looks. I'm going in now with the Benefit Professional setting spray. I love this spray. It brings everything together um, to help my face not look so cakey. I went in next with the Milk Makeup Infinity infinity long wear highliner in the color outer space y'all this is so smooth it goes on so 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 smooth i didn't look at any tutorials on how to use this lip plus cheek so i started out by using it wrong y'all <laughs> it's a cream blush or it acts as a cream blush as well as a lip stain so what i did um as you could see, it was not working, just me applying it straight from the tube. So what I had to do is get a brush and take it from the applicator and put it on my face. And then I put it on my lips with my fingers. I absolutely love this nude color. It's great for any day. I just like it. It goes on smooth. It's hydrating. It's not matte. It's just perfect. And I like it. So what do y'all think about it? y'all we are coming to the end of this video or tutorial or this watch tutorial i don't know <laughs> we are coming to the end i hope you like this look it's very um subtle and soft glam i'm a soft glam girl i'm about that soft life i hope you like comment subscribe hit that bell to be notified a hey, like comment subscribe hit that bell to be notified so i'm just putting a little bit more mascara on my extensions and then i'm going in with a nyx pencil to make my lips look a little bit more fuller i really am digging this look what say y'all i hope y'all enjoyed and see you later